r slash ask reddit what fictional character do you absolutely hate that cowardly weasley rat faced looking ducking little beach percy whitmore from the green mile duck that little shit oh my god yes duck that guy when he didn't wet the sponge for the execution that's peak hate for the character for me i didn't know it was supposed to be wet go duck yourself you duck but bless stephen king one of his many gifts as a writer is he makes sure the bastard in the story gets it good so you can have that super delicious primal satisfaction of seeing an old testament like justice served up the popular kids in lilo and stitch that redhead beach made me so mad Especially in the second movie when she tells Lilo she'll never be as good as her mom. Lilo beating her ass was justified. Dinklerberg. Mr. Turner likes this. Fun fact. Dink is short for dual income no kids. Timmy's dad hates his neighbors because they make him realize how well off they would be without him. Nazim. I've been to the cloud district Nazim. Never saw you there. Yup I have definitely killed him a time or two. Make sure you're carrying only one black soul gem, so that you can ensure it's him in there, and you have to enchant some armor with it, no weapons. Weapon charge eventually depletes, and I'd hate for use to eventually result in stopping his suffering. No, he has to persist in his new existence as a ring of moderate skill enhancement. Rita Ducking Skeeter. Apparently JK Rowling had based her character on an actual reporter. Interesting, I hated Umbridge more. That smug bastard Squilliam Fansyson. I had a childhood friend named Edward Williams, and one random day we caught on that we could start calling him Squidward Squilliams since both those names appeared in Spongebob. He utterly hated it, not because we were calling him a stupid name, but because he didn't want us to remind him of Squilliam every time we talked to him. Edward Williams is such a fancy sounding name. That old prick in the last airbender that turned in the earthbender that saved his life and got him sent to prison. He was a piece of shit. This just made me mad remembering it. Thank you. Muffy from Arthur. Yeah her character is supposed to be the snobby rich girl. But she goes far beyond being just that. She is rude to all of her friends and doesn't even try to acclimate to her school environment. The only time she does is when an episode doesn't feature her and she becomes a voice of reason for someone else facing a conflict. And she isn't good at that at all. One time when Francine's family hosted her, she was the worst guest ever. Complaining about everything when they were doing the best they can to make her feel welcome. Then when Francine is annoyed by it, as anyone would be, Muffy is the beach who plays the victim. Another example is when she scheduled her birthday party the same day as Arthur, even though it wasn't her actual birthday, and Arthur had people from out of town coming in. She's just a sociopath that never feels empathy for anyone and her character isn't a good example for children. She has no redeeming values at all. Don't forget that time she told Francine, who is Jewish, that Hanukkah wasn't as important as Christmas, as least, on the bright side. She's usually pointed out as the villain, so, kids, supposedly, won't try to emulate her. Make a ducking bell, that backstabbing, manipulative ducker, also, Mindy from Snowpoint City, in the Sinner Pokemon games. She trades you a haunter but it's holding an everstone so you don't get Jenga, Duck Mindy, and everyone who looks like Mindy. Mindy sucks. There's the ducker. I thought I was the only one calling him out here. I wish that they could have left him up on MT. Hagen after shooting him so that he could feel his blood freeze in his veins. He deserved so much more than what he got. I can't be the only one who thought the better ending would be Arthur coughing on Mika. A la Thomas Downs as his final act. After he mocked you for being sick, it would be poetic justice for him to get TB and be forced to live in a cold wet place alone before dying. Shooting him in the dong 12 times was fun and all. The mother figure entangled. Gothel. She reminds me of the worst traits of my ex-wife. The passive aggressive comments and put downs. With an I'm just kidding excuse behind it all. The manipulation and guilt trips. And elitism. I love a good villain. But this one hits too close to home for me. When you've seen that kind of attitude in real life, it is sickening to see being portrayed on TV. Great. Now I'm the bad guy. You h yeah. You are? Gothel is awful. It also took me a long time to realize that any time she shows any form of affection to Rapunzel, it's directed at her hair. 
Imagine having her as your mother. My jaw dropped the first time I saw Tangled. I thought omg how could they have known my real mother and the sick mothering she did all my childhood years. Abigail Williams. Read the crucible in high school and I still hate that beach. It's Proctor's fault for having an affair in the first place. But man, does a bitch take shit too far for her own gain without facing consequence. At the end of the book, it says she apparently became a prostitute if I recall correctly. Nurse Ratched from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, a cold, heartless tyrant rather than the caregiver a nurse is expected to be. She's the personification of the dehumanizing effect of living under authoritarian rule. I guess there's a difference between characters you hate because they are well portrayed, exactly as the director intended, and characters you hate because they're just annoying you. Nurse Ratched and Kai Win are both good examples of the former. I like that I hate them. That little smart mouthed kid with glasses from Polar Express. One of the most punchable animated faces of all time. We watch it every year for Christmas. Every year as soon as I hear him I wanna smack that fool. Caleb from King of the Hill. Dusty old bones. Full of green dust. That episode made me genuinely angry. Not so much a single character as a trope. The super intelligent person who's always 5 steps ahead and never makes any mistakes. Strangely enough, I'm reading the complete Sherlock Holmes series right now and he doesn't bother me as much as he does screw up on occasion. Sherlock Holmes of the books is not as super intelligent as it's portrayed on movies or TV. I felt him like an average guy but with an attention to details higher than the average. Shoutaka from FMA FMA. B. Yes. Thank you. Fun fact, in the manga whenever a character dies, there's a clip at the end of the manga showing the character ascending to heaven. Even the human killy went to heaven. Shoutaka was the only character shown being ripped down to hell. The circus ringmaster from Atla, when Appa was kidnapped, and everyone else who was involved in that trade. Gay Buglino from Percy Jackson, guy's abusive a-hole, got everything he deserved. I read something that said shout out to Rick Riordan for straight up killing the abusive stepdad instead of trying to redeem him. Amen. Bob Yaw from To Kill a Mockingbird, easily the most despisable villain of all time. I honestly can't stand Janice from Mean Girls. At first I was cool with her but then I watched it high and she's one of the biggest a-holes in the movie. She's basically as bad as Regina. Think about it this way, if Regina is a snake and is a shitty person then what kind of person would be best friends with her? Janice sat back and called them slups the entire movie but it's said she was the one who came up with the choreography for the Jingle Bell Rock dance. What annoys me the most is near the end when she just exposes all the shit her and Katie did but in a way like it was righteous or something, and then gets all these cheers and shit like it was the right thing to do. Katie was right at the party, you're the one who made me like this so you could use me for your 8th grade revenge. That's literally what Janice did and then wanted to sit back and act all smug and innocent when it blew back into her face. All the girls are mean, except Karen, she was just stupid. Mr. Ezra Fitz from Pretty Little Lies. The whole teacher slash high school student romance was gross and creepy, but the show framed it as this sexy forbidden romance. Also why was he not fired for being in a romantic relationship with a minor student, and where was CPS on his ass? I read the books in my moody teen years, if I recall correctly he was arrested in the books, but released because Arya refused to press charges testify etc and there was technically no evidence of statutory, but he was fired and left the state. The duck from the duck song. For some reason reddit loves him but all he did was give that poor lemonade vendor a hard time. Like, he's a grown man selling lemonade, his life is already hard enough so there's no need to be a dong. Vernon Dursley from Harry Potter, screw that guy. Trish from Jessica Jones, acts like she hated the spotlight her mom put her in then spends all of her time being the victim and doing anything to stay relevant. Couldn't even handle the fact that Jessica had powers. Couldn't deal with the fact that she wasn't the special one in their friendship. Threw everything away and actively put them all in danger just so she could try and get powers. I hated every one of her scenes. Peppa Pig. Peppa's mom. What's wrong? Honey. Peppa. I can't whistle. Peppa's mom. Duck all your problems beach I'm making cookies in a muffin pan. 
This scene cracks me up so much. Dialogue may not be entirely accurate. When she hangs up on Suzy Sheep in that episode is proper laugh out loud funny. I was gonna say that Ramsay Bolton would be among the most hated Game of Thrones character. But now I think Joffrey Baratheon would be the absolute worst as a character. I see your Joffrey and raise you all to fray. Cyrus. The dong is ducked in the head. Kai Win from Deep Space Nine. She was the worst. I hate Stuart Little. Let's see who survives my attempted vehicular manslaughter. Me in a Ford F-150 or Stuart in his little RC car. Can you ducking imagine? You're at an orphanage hoping to god you'll one day get out of this ducking hell hole. When all of a sudden you see a nice white upper middle class family who decides to pick a duck eyeing mouse over you. Let that shit sink in. Honestly, I think that Mr. Krabs in some of the later seasons was one of the most pretentious, selfish and borderline psychopathic fictional characters. How he tormented Plankton and abused SpongeBob's ignorance really infuriated me. Like he started off as your typical cheap skate boss but he became such a donghead later and his character really pissed me off. His cheap side was exaggerated and he became a character that forced Plankton into hiding at some points can't remember the episode name. But what pissed me off the most is the fact that he always got away with it. Carrie Bradshaw. I remember that one time her husband just wanted to chill out and she made a big stink about going to some event. She's the epitome of a me. Me person. I used to love sex in the city when I was a teenager and it came on TBS. Didn't have HBO. Watching it as an adult now I have such a different perspective of it. Carrie really was a selfish bitch. I remember one episode where she beaches at Charlotte for not offering to loan her like $30,000. Carrie is so freaking entitled and guilt trips Charlotte into loaning her the money because Carrie can't get a loan due to her reckless spending. What a shitty friend. The governor in the Walking Dead comics. I was physically angry reading those comics. Carly from the Inbetweeners. She led poor Simon on for like a decade. Jan from The Office. The things she did to Michael were disgusting and also was kind of a creep. I couldn't hate her more. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.